My name is Ryan Brazel and I'd like to show you a quick demo of how to use Prometheus for machine monitoring. To start off we go and visit Prometheus.io and then we click on the download link. From here we can download tarballs for a variety of systems. The main Prometheus binary is on top and I'm running an Ubuntu system using modern hardware so that's Linux AMD64 I want to download. In addition for machine monitoring we need the node exporter so we download that. Once again, Linux AMD64. These are now being downloaded, and we have two tarballs. So let's start off with the node exporter. We untar it, cd in, and kick off the node exporter. And that's running now. We're then going to look at the other tarball, which is Prometheus. I'm not going to use the config that uses it as widget, we're just going to build it up from scratch. So, start a global sections. I'm going to grow a five second scrape interval to make things nice and snappy for this demo. I'll create a scrape config telling Prometheus what to scrape. And we're going to tell it to scrape the node exporter we just did. We need to provide a list of targets. In this case, it's just a single item, which is the node exporter on port 9100. We're also going to get Prometheus to scrape itself. Prometheus runs on port 9090. We can now run this, so we just run Prometheus and it'll pick up that file by default. And there you can see Prometheus is up and running. Now we go back to the web browser. So now if we go onto port 9100, we can see, and look at the metrics endpoint, we can see what the node exporter is doing. Let's get rid of that download page, there we go. Uh, so it has a variety of stats here. Some of it read the node exporter itself, so how much, how much garbage collection Go is doing, memory allocation for Go. Then we have, for example, CPU stats. So the node CPU metric is showing for the eight CPUs in this machine, the guest, idle, system, user uh, usage. Got a whole pile of disk stats, so you can see this machine has four disks and a optical drive, and you can see how much has been re read from all these. Various internal stats, all my file systems, various memory stats, and a whole ton of network stats like ARP filtered packets or how many IP requests went out, which is about 50 million since whenever I last rebooted. Now numbers on their own aren't much use, so we can go and have a look at the Prometheus server itself. So we can look at the end of the stat there, like node CPU. And there are all those values here. And furthermore, we can graph them. Now that's not much use on its own because that's way too many graphs. Let's reduce the time. And also these are going up over time, as just since the machine started. So we're going to use an I rate to get the per second values. Now this is still 8 times 8, about 60 or so values, which is kind of a lot. So let's do some aggregation. So here we're telling it to remove the CPU, execute it, stack it, and here we can see that idle usage is nice and big as you want, and the other usage is smaller. So the machines are mostly idle, and most of that CPU user usage is probably the actual screen capture stuff. There's also some other things we can look at. So the build information tells us that this was built recently and it's version 1.1.2. The command line flags are here. You normally don't need to tweak those unless you've got a very large setup. We can see configuration that's in use. That's the one we just typed in there a few seconds ago. There are no rules loaded here, so we're keeping things simple. And the two targets that are here. We can also actually look at the metrics for Prometheus itself. Once again, it has Go internal stats because Prometheus is written in Go as well as stats about Prometheus itself, such as evaluation interval, uh, how many operations it's done in the storage subsystem, and so on and so forth. The final feature I'd like to show you is some built-in consoles that come in Prometheus. Now these are basic examples, so you have something that's up and running. So this is on the Prometheus endpoint, forward slash consoles, forward slash node.html. So this we can see about 25% CPU is used, and 9 gigabytes of RAM. An important thing is this is completely dynamic. 
Once the Prometheus knows about a machine, this is automatically populated using a for loop. So you only need it in one place to configure things. Even better if you can hook it in to something like console or Kubernetes and fully automatically discover your services. But here we can see the same graph again, just without the idle time, and see it's mostly user. CPU stats are there, disk I.O. And there's also a Prometheus server itself. It's, this one's only doing 241 samples per second, which is nothing. Uh, Prometheus server, a record of a large machine, is about 800,000 samples per second, which is enough to monitor about 10,000 machines or so. Now, this Prometheus is doing like 0.4% of a core. And you can see the stats there. So if you want to find out more information about Prometheus, I recommend going to robustception.io and looking at the blog where I regularly write about how you can use Prometheus. Thanks for watching.